and we are recording. Mm. Oop. So, April. <laughs> yes, April. But my pinkies didn't quite connect. <laughs> <laughs> like ninety-nine percent. Wait. Ah, now now I can't do it. Fuck. <laughs> It only it only works naturally. So uh, this this is this is an episode. Uh, this is the uh, writer updates from the writer's corner, or what did we call it? Uh, I don't know. Writing <laughs> corner chat. Yeah. Uh, the, the 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 vlog <laughs> hangouty thing, not the not the work session you think mm. uh, so we have made a strategic decision I have notes and everything yeah notes and everything so the strategic decision is to uh, dedicate most of our work sessions in April to sort out some short stories uh, that we have in various stages of drafts uh, we we did work uh, on them quite a bit uh, last autumn. We have videos to uh, <laughs> to prove, <laughs> and of course uh, during the long winter and uh, New Year and all that we forgot all of that. <laughs> so now now we are picking out the ball again, and uh, the goal is to get some of the stories into such a uh, state that by May. When uh, Nux is going on all the trips and 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 tours and whatever, uh, I would be able to do some editing on my own. No, that's the wrong map. <laughs> imagine, imagine there's a road going down here to Paris as well. So things are going well already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm I'm starting to open some doodads on my screen. Uh oh. So. Uh, last night we did not plan to work, but uh, we start. We decided to casually hang out a little bit, and it turned into a sneaky work session where That's we really actually, nice where we actually worked out the direction for the short story collection. So the thing is, right, uh, right now, or as of as of yesterday, before yesterday. We had a bunch of stort st short story fodder collected, and uh, and uh, we had worked on some of those, and we kind of sort of had a a selection in mind for an upcoming collection. And last night, out of nowhere, but it prob pr the idea had probably been brewing a long time. Uh, we were able to weed out uh, one or two stories that actually don't don't w fit the profile. So the profile is that this first collection would entail short stories that capture a first encounter with a Casanova character that will be uh, an important part of the big story arc, or the, the the main arc, the deja vu and all that. And uh, this first collection, quote unquote, probably won't cover all of such stories, because we will we will probably make it like a better, make it smaller and release it sooner than try to cram everything in there. So what I have here is short story work. Collection one. So right now we are sitting on uh, six stories. Uh, three of those are pretty finalized and uh, and actually need fine tuning and calibration and like quality control and maybe adding some bits in here and there then uh, uh, 
and three three others are the stories that we we have already worked on in the autumn. So we have split personality, meeting the ladies, scribe and the doctor, which we have copious amounts of footage of, and destiny's trials. Uh, Destiny is one of Nox's player characters that will become important later, and that will be uh, who will be part of the bigger taking flight uh, story. And beyond this, beyond this uh, first collection, the second sorting criteria would be. Covering key covering events that somehow factor in to the uh, to the big story or main arc or the the backbone. Uh, for that one, the the idea is is a lot more fuzzy and and well, we we haven't actively worked on that, but we have come up with these two main categories to direct our focus when it comes to short stories because until yesterday we had certain certain stories picked out for uh, for uh, release for the that were kind of like taking place somewhere in universe kind of fun but not actually related to anything and as it turns out one of those stories we had actually outlined quite thoroughly and were trying to get into it and it proved increasingly difficult to get into that story and uh, yesterday when going over the the list and the criteria it's like well this one doesn't actually fit either criteria <laughs> let's let's put it in the just 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 random stories pile and it was immediately a huge relief Oh like, yes. Oh, we didn't have to worry about that one. Well, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was glorious crossing through that last night. Real weight off my shoulders. <laughs> so now come the difficult part is of course that uh, now we actually have to work the stories out. <laughs> I will I will open them on screen as well to show wh where we're actually at. So, for example, let's say... Man, uh, I apologise for my yawning. <laughs> you you provide the uh, pom-poms and dance numbers <laughs> in the background. I'll get so, my cheerleading outfit out. Yeah, so for example, Salvage Mission is the story that we featured in the novella Seeker as an add-on or as a bonus material. And it is quite finalised, but as a as one uh, commenter reviewer friendly neighborhood uh, game dev pointed out uh, v uh, very spot on uh, the story ends kind of re abruptly and when you are not familiar with some of the uh, with some of the elements that the story's protagonist uh, encounters then for a first time reader they don't actually mean anything so it's like some things are happening the protagonist is doing something the protagonist is picking something up but the, the significance of all that is completely lost so uh, first off uh, uh, th thank you Dave not you but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a shout out to Captain Disaster let's say it so and uh, and and actually this has helped us to figure out that yep we actually do want to add in some bits to this story which means it we we're gonna need to revise it a little bit but at the same time it doesn't require a whole lot of rewrite so the, the the main story will remain the same, but we will inject and splice in some context and significance here and there. Then there is Space Junk, my very own little character moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And again, uh, this has been part of the forum storyline and we have featured it in the uh, reading samples in the in the website and and basically what it what it needs is a a sort of a little bit of cleanup and also making sure that it actually uh, that, it, that it touches things that are actually meaningful because right now it is it is also a little bit of character moves around doing things but the significance significance of these things uh, is not necessarily uh, apparent. And then the third bit that is like mostly ready, just need to touch up is the very own uh, picking up trash which, hey. is, which is the uh, opening salvo of a uh, long told and retold uh, <laughs> main storyline beginning bit called uh, Chain Flight. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, Noxus and Coyote's uh, uh, player character's first encounter with each other and as such it, it serves as the reader's first encounter with two key characters. Also we are hoping you're reading uh, with some video and music bits of this story very soon. Very excited about that. <laughs> we will we will, we will uh, spam it all over the place when that happens. But yeah, as far as writing goes, uh, we we have come up with several finalized versions of this, and uh, and uh, I would say it is. It is uh, somewhat more polished than your average hammy draft, but uh, to be featured in an actual released book, we would need to tighten it up even further. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe shave off some extra, uh, extra stuff, and also make sure that uh, it serves the. It serves as a node in in the bigger, huger story sprawl thing. And now the the three other bits <laughs> left in this uh, in this folder are the stories that we have been working on and that need a lot more working on. So we have Scribe and the Doctor, which we extensively outlined. So this this is a prime example of one of those bits where Nux has written a a first draft of something, then I will stomp all over it, rip it into shreds <laughs> <laughs> and we will build up a new outline uh, of those shreds. And uh and with this one we we actually ran into the over outlining a little bit like trying to explain trying to describe the structure of the story over and over and over and over again meanwhile the story itself is still not happening mm. uh, so there is there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of uh, explanation about what we're about to write here but there is uh, there isn't quite enough text to serve as a full story yet but there is C certain scenes are already taking shape so this one this one is also uh, on one hand it is it is still very sketchy and scaffoldy but on the other hand this one uh, is um, we are skipping the hammy draft stage here we are uh, going straight to the uh, civilized draft <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it open because we're we're probably going to work on this later. Yeah. Then yet another uh, story that we were working on in the autumn is the opening chapter of Split Personality. And now this is this is the story that uh, Nux has once released 
in its in its early form <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, <coughs> the the book does not hold up to our co- current standards at all nope. uh, but instead of trying to remaster the whole book we are picking material from it and turning it into short stories so uh, in such a way s- the whole book might actually be processed in such a way but we are starting off with using part of its plot as a short story basis and this one uh, this one requires more work so this is like we are we have been doing uh, again this pul- pulverizing the original material and building up a new outline based on that and I believe we've been uh, doing some more detailed uh, outlining within each uh, scene so this this one will require a lot more work and then further still in a similar process is Destiny's Trials where again we we know very well what's happening there we we know who's doing what and why and we actually know the string of events but uh, the old text will no, no longer hold up and we don't have the new text yet we only we only have the uh, scene by scene outline here Ah, okay. There is more. <laughs> the uh, the text sort of ended. I was like, wait, didn't we haven't haven't we done more than three scenes? <laughs> but yes, there is more. So this this one on one hand, this this and uh, the split personality part are both kind of tricky and each their own way. So this this is this is the work that we have planned for April yay. yay and beyond these six stories there there should be more at least uh, I think there were at least three three more essential characters yeah there are notes <laughs> notes <laughs> notes Important all the notes, notes. How, yep. how many how many how many more uh, characters are there that need this kind of introduction that uh, we know of right now. Uh, Kimberland, Servo, Tahu, and then you've got Nux and Chaos and Fallon Turn. Ah, so we actually almost uh, almost another collection of uh, six, five, six, <laughs> yeah. and so yeah. So so basically, the plan is right now to work out these stories, uh, these six and then release like a small small collection like this and and keep doing that with other stories as well Whee! yep sounds like a plan sounds like a plan oh and also speaking of march news uh, another piece of uh, translation for seeker has come out I'm going to show it on the screen right now. And So right now, uh, again s- visible in my screen, I am uh, I am trying to get the, my translation shoes is going on the fifth part of this uh, serialized adaptation to Estonian, but uh, the uh, da, 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 da in the release schedule. Uh, part three has been uh, has been published. 
so there is that. And part two got a. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Don't. Okay. Uh, so, this is another ongoing project. Anything else? April. Nope. Nope. I haven't uh, really. I've just been working on short stories and bits and pieces here and there. Oh. Huh? Short stories outside of Chaos Nova, uh, oh. just to just to keep the writing going. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. That's yeah. So this this has been our super drowsy April update. <laughs> um. Website seeker, check out everything. <laughs> Twitter stuff yeah I think let's wrap it up I want <laughs> I want to yawn properly <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, so everybody thank you very much for watching keep uh, stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> bye bye